our man, Ephraim Salam. What Yo. up, brother? What's up, fellas? How are we you? are good, man. We are good. Now, let's get right into this. Yes. What are your thoughts on the Urban Meyer situation? <laughs> right, we we going um, right in, baby. Yes. <laughs> I, I, and, and I'm okay with that. You know, I, um, I question Urban Meyer's uh, even prior to training camp or any of those things. Some of the things that he's done has let me know that this may be too big for him, that he wasn't really ready, uh, namely – uh, the first thing was when he named his strength and conditioning coach. Right. Uh, Chris Doyle. And right, which immediately was red flags for everybody, including the NFL. And it was like, yo, look, with this guy's past, there's no way that this that we can allow this. And for him not to even take that into consideration, I was like, okay, well, maybe he's not really paying attention to how this thing works. And then the other thing was uh, the Tim Tebow thing. Like that, right. that didn't make sense. And you can say whatever you want. That doesn't make sense to anybody who knows anything about football, professional sports. <laughs> I, I mean, that, w- that to me was a personal thing that, that affected the team, which you can't do. Right. right? Like they have a personal you relationship. You can't hook your boy They're up. Hey. Right. They're like you, you can't do that. And the third thing was when they drafted, they, they um, drafted, uh, tra- uh, ETM, Travis, Travis ETM. H- ETM, and then he yep. started saying that he was going to be like a receiver, slot guy, and and I was like, okay, well, what what is going on? Like, what is he doing? Right, but but Ephraim, you know, this is this, this is the thing here is his judgment, and you you know, your coaches say that's don't what be that everything guy. Ephraim said, is right, his right. Judgment. I'm yep. saying that Black he's era. in a public place, Ephraim. He's in a public yep. place. He represents the players, the organization, the owner. And, and the fans of, of Jacksonville, and he's married. I mean, the, the whole look is a bad look. And if you're a player, and, and we already heard from one, at least one player saying he has, like, zero credibility, what, how do the players respond to this, Ephraim? Well, if, you're, if, you're, if your head coach is acting like a joke, then you treat him like a joke. You can lose hmm. a locker room. The things that he's done, you can lose a locker room. I mean, it's, it's over. If you were in that locker room, if you're in that locker room, has he lost you? Oh, he lost me when he signed Tim Tebow. <laughs> right. Okay. I know that. how hard it is to make an NFL roster at a position you've done your whole life and consistently done it, let alone an eight-year gap and coming back to a new position. like That, that was someone else's opportunity. No, yeah, that, that could have that, possibly that's... helped the team. That's our thing. We've said, look, what he did at the club is not necessarily a fireable offense. But the question is, does he still have the credibility to lead in the locker room? And if no. that's if he doesn't, then he's going to eventually have to go. It's going. We're going to see it over the next few weeks. Because Ephraim, I watch. I'm sure you watched the game Thursday night. I yeah, actually I thought Jacksonville was playing hard. Like I thought they, they were played. really yep. right. And so now it's- I guess we'll see. Has he lost them over the next few weeks? They played extremely hard. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is coming along. Yep. They looked well on, on, on third. I was very impressed with how they looked last week. Uh, but the fact still remains is they're not a good team. Now, if he was 3-0, <laughs> and be a right? story. then it's right. like, oh, oh, you know, he crazy. He'd be out there drinking. He'd be he wild. You know what I mean? But they're right. not 3-0. and They're right. So now it's like, okay. Some of the things he's done has been questionable. Yep. Can we move forward with this guy in this leadership role? And, and in my opinion, the answer is no. I like, you wow. can't do that video is crazy. Like, I was looking at that like, yo, he's dripping. You know right, what? Right Four, in the open, yeah. It, it took me back. I thought I was at Magic City. I just didn't see any singles see, dropping. See, <laughs> yep. Chick, chicken wings in one hand, and, uh, butt, cheek, butt cheeks in the other. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Hey, oh, hey, let me man. let me ask you about Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert. Uh, He's you nice. know, beats the Raiders three touchdowns, uh, no picks. That seven touchdowns, no picks in the last two. And let's go back to that Cowboys game where he had one touchdown, two picks, but had two touchdowns called back because of penalties. And they should be four and zero and have played well. What do you make of uh, Justin Herbert and where he's headed? And the, and the I Chargers. Knew. I knew he was the one last year when uh, 
Tyrod Taylor got his lungs punctured by the doctor and yeah, he had that to was step nice, in right. yep. with no reps, with not like that. It's hard to do. Like I've been in a situation where someone gets hurt and in warmups and they're like, "Hey, you got to play." And you're like, "Well, wait a minute. I'm not even mentally ready to go." <laughs> right. And this kid came in and was a rock star and everything he did last year combined with what he's doing this year, he is the next great quarterback. I don't care what anybody has to say. This kid has it. Everybody entered the season, of course, thinking Kansas City is the class of that division. How close, if if not above Kansas City, do you put the charge? I mean, when, you know, down the stretch, when we get to who's going to represent the AFC, are the Chargers a legitimate threat to beat Kansas City in the big game that matters? Oh, absolutely. And, and if you look across the board at talent, the quarterback position, they have that locked down. Two, the, the two receivers they have are, are tremendous. With, 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 with Mike, I mean, Mike Williams is a giant out there. And Keenan right. Allen, th- those two guys are, you know, they, they are one of the most formidable uh, receiver duos in the league. The running back, with Eckler, and, and the way that they use him, they have all of the skill positions and everything they need on offense to keep, to keep putting up points. And that defense is for road day. Hey, man, they were hitting. They were hitting yep, last the night. Like they, is tough. They'll hit your head off. What What did you make of the – obviously, uh, the Cardinals are off to a great start. They beat up on the Rams. That was a, a big game, divisional game. Uh, what did you make of Kyler Murray and how well he's played? And then Stafford, after everybody was ready to erect the statue, he just didn't play that well. I'm not blaming it all on him, but – he didn't play that well in the big yeah, game. What would you make of those two? <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't play well at all. And, uh, you know, Matthew Stafford is a, is a dynamic talent. I, I was there his rookie year in Detroit and, and saw right away. We know that he's good. We know that he can deliver the ball to those weapons they have on the Rams. When you talk about Arizona and Kyler Murray, man, look here. <laughs> Hey, this kid, and I was one of those naysayers saying he. I thought he was too small. I thought he should have gone and played baseball because I thought at five nine, I, I just just would be too uh, insurmountable. He's too frail. This kid can play football. I, he is dangerous, man. Like no, it's even totally it's almost is. better to just keep him in the pocket. Don't right, <laughs> right, well, man. Just keep him in the pocket. Make him make a decision from the. Don't pocket. even rush, just, right? And, and have no, you got, got a just bunch of guys there. in coverage, right? Just keep him there, and 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 you know if if they can do that and make him be a a pocket passer, then he I think he'll be less effective than he is when he's on the move. Because when he's on the move, good luck. I mean, there's nothing you can do to stop that kid. E from Vic Fangio in Denver's all up in arms about what and John Harbaugh so. and shame and, on John and the Ravens Harbaugh. did. I, I'm fine with it. This is big boy football. It ain't Pop Warner. What was your thoughts on it? I, look, it's it's football, man. It it, it, it look this it, it is what it is. Um, you're not gonna agree all the time, but this is football. This is this is the NFL. This is like you said. This is prime time. This is big boy wait, football. Wait, wait, wait. You don't wait, care about wait, the opponent's feelings wait. on the field with, with ten no. seconds left in a meaningless lopsided we're, game. We're, don't tell me, to eat from you're cool with that. That you're gonna have your he just quarterback, said he was, Rob. your running quarterback, run a play. Imagine if he got hurt Rob, and Lamar was hurt touched. on that play. Ephraim, you'd be the first guy killing Why John Harbaugh. Why are we Harbaugh? talking in hypotheticals? Yeah, you, you're acting like he did a, uh, you, you know, he, he, he ran off he tackle. Ran something. Yeah, that's not what, what was <laughs> happening right there. And look, as far as whoever's winning gets to decide what they want to do. <laughs> Everything else, you had your opportunity at the beginning of the game to write whatever narrative and dictate whatever you wanted to happen. Once you're you're Dude. losing, you look. It Amen. is what it is. Amen. Ephraim, Ephraim, Preach. Ephraim, Preach. You knew the record. Rob, we you gotta knew go. What that record is. Rob, it's a, we agree it's with a me. We gotta go. Record, Ephraim, it doesn't it ain't mean anything. I'm into Nobody it now. Nobody knew it going into I'm the into game. It. And shame on John Harbaugh. Anytime he should be about you winning tie Super Franco Bowl. Harris is and big he has time. some pencil neck. Uh, pencil neck geek, stack geek, go. You need three more yards. Why don't you run the well, play so you can get well, tied? Got it. They didn't even break right, the record. Right. They tied they a gonna meaningless record. They're going to break it record. next week, Rob. No, I hope, they, I hope right. they, I hope they don't get run. it. 
E from Salam, great stuff as always, brother. We appreciate you. All right, man. Peace.